Hi guys, my name is Giuliano and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while <laughs> and it feels kind of strange to do a movie review. This is the first movie review I've done since quarantine started because, well, there aren't a lot of new movies coming out because of the pandemic. Literally, the last time I filmed a review it was in Dutch and now I completely stepped over into English. I think I've been to theaters twice. Like the entire four months of quarantine, I've been to the high note and now Tenet. So today we're going to talk about Tenet and Tenet was one of my most anticipated movies of 2020. I really like Christopher Nolan as a director so I was looking forward to it especially to see John David Washington on screen. You may know his dad Denzel Washington, the icon. And I was so excited to see John as the main lead in a mega blockbuster. After seeing the trailer I had such high expectations. Did these expectations come true though? Let's talk about it, because I feel like I have an unpopular opinion about this movie, but we'll get to that later. Don't worry, I'm going to ease the tension, it was a good movie, no doubt. First I'm going to talk about all the things I really liked about this movie. The cast was just great, amazing, John David Washington nails it as the lead in this movie. He makes for a really good charismatic protagonist and also a great action star. Another highlight of this movie is Robert Pattinson and no doubt he does get a lot of shit for Twilight, but just forget that entire movie habit and watch this other stuff because he is such an amazing actor. He is kind of the comedic relief in this movie, I think, at least I found him funny. Next up is Elizabeth Debicki as Cat. I think I pronounced that right. She was great as well and okay, her character annoyed me sometimes. Sometimes she made decisions that made me go, what you doing? But besides that, stellar performance. I liked the plot and as you noticed, I didn't tell you what the movie was about in the beginning because it's just too spoilery. The plot was interesting and original and I love original plots, like give me something I haven't seen before. The visual effects and the action is top notch. I loved every action scene. It really kept me on the edge of my seat and it was also visually pleasing to watch. The action scenes are elevated by a great score, like the music on the background is just epic. Another thing I loved about this movie were the plot twists. There were some of these twists that had me like, Oop. you know, like, damn, I didn't see that coming. Okay, now I have all my praise for the movie out of the way. Let's get to the part where I'm kind of torn about. Because this may sound strange, but I do feel like I was tricked into liking it. Because of the great action scenes and the great acting and just the visual pleasing of it all, you get a bit distracted from the fact that you don't really understand what's going on. Like I left the theater just raving about how good this movie is, but actually when I thought of it, what did I just witness? <laughs> because everything that was good about it distracted me from the fact that they didn't really explain that much or at least well. This movie has a lot to do with time and time traveling and in the beginning there is this scene between a lab researcher and a protagonist and the lab researcher tells him you know that the ability to control time saved him from dying and then the protagonist asks well how is that possible? And the lab researcher just blatantly says, you don't have to understand it, just feel it. You're not going to explain me how this works and how all of this is possible, like, it was just weird to me because they use these pills to control time and maybe space, but in some scenes they didn't even use a pill and things began twisting and turning around. It also gets pretty confusing when you don't know in certain sequences who is who? Like, is this character from the past or from the future or from the present? Like, it was great to look at, don't get me wrong, it was impressive from a visual perspective, but I had to turn my brain off to really enjoy it because I was like, okay, what's going on? You know what? Never mind. Look, pretty pictures. <laughs> and also, I called the plot twist a positive, but there was one plot twist that had me like, without spoilers, there is a reveal at the end about who the leader is of this entire situation. A reveal who came up with the plan and who is the genius behind all of this. And I was just like, but how? And they didn't even bother to explain that. So, eh? So that leaves me with a question, right? Can a movie be good? if you don't understand shit and they don't bother to explain it. I get leaving things up for imagination, like a lot of arthouse horror movies do that, but here I don't know because 
Literally, I had the greatest time watching this movie. It was so, I don't know, it was genuinely good and enticing, but it left me with too much questions. Like, I left the theater, was smiling, arrived at home, thought about it and got a headache. This is really a movie where you have to watch a lot of explained videos on YouTube to really understand it. So summarized, there are a lot of good things to say about this movie. It is a great movie and I would definitely recommend it. But I'm not sure if it's for everyone. I mean, none of the Christopher Nolan movies are. It's really the type of movie that you need to appreciate because otherwise you'll just be like, what the f did I just witness? In conclusion, I rate Tenet an eight out of 10. Have you seen Tenet? What are your thoughts about it? Let me know down below. Like, subscribe and share if you care. You can also follow me on my Instagram. Okay guys, that's it. Ciao.